all businesses these days need to be digital businesses. If uh, companies don't embrace a digital component, if they don't embrace the disruption, they're going to be out of business. Uh, so we're seeing conventional companies, insurance companies, financial services companies uh, embracing digital business and becoming something rather different. And of course with the move of traditional bricks and mortar businesses online, um, there's an issue with management boards needing to keep up with those changes and also keep up with the legislative and legal changes that, that, that follow. On the other side, we've got the pure digital business players, you know, the companies, Uber is a great example of it, you know, that don't come to this marketplace with any baggage. Uh, they're able to disrupt in a, in a really uh, engaging way. We're seeing 76% of um, adults in the UK have got a, a web-enabled smartphone. Um, we're finding that about 15% of all retail sales in the UK, which is a huge amount, um, are being bought online. And with that growth, we're finding real legal challenges. So in my field IP, the courts are really struggling as to how to deal with infringements taking place on the internet when patents, copyrights and trademarks are all national rights. How does a national court deal with infringement that's taking place all over the world? So the law's got to work really hard to keep up with uh, changes in technology. And one of the big things which is happening in Europe is something called the digital single market. And there's a range of legislation on copyright issues, on things like tax issues. So we're going to see a whole range of legislation coming through in the next two or three years. But uh, there's a risk there that we'll create this wonderful walled garden uh, across Europe in the digital single market, but will anybody from outside Europe want to play in that uh, walled garden? It may be so different to the legislative environment outside Europe that it may cause its own problems, and that's, that's a real risk. One of the things we find when we're talking to digital businesses and, and companies which are engaging in digital transformation is they're moving ahead so quickly with the business that they're not thinking about the legal issues. There's data protection issues, uh, there's, there's e-commerce regulatory issues, there's sector-specific regulation, there's the implementation issues, how are you going to actually take this thing forward? There's a whole range of operational issues, intellectual property issues, employment issues going forward. There are changes um, in, in the law that are going to create quite fantastic fantastic opportunities for, for companies in the, in the digital space. Europe is, is amending its trademark legislation to make it easier to register trademarks uh, that are more likely to be used in the digital space. So it's going to be easier to register films, animation, sounds as, as trademarks. And that creates opportunities for businesses to be able to mark their services with these new innovative trademarks. So what we have at Bird & Bird is both the strength and depth in specific areas such as intellectual property and data protection, but we can also help uh, companies engaging in digital transformation right from the stage where they're thinking about the process through to uh, the delivery to the actual consumer. We can help them all the way through that process.